So as a entrepreneur, how do you keep a positive mindset? Um, I think the, the most important thing is uh, having like real passion for what you're doing. Uh, I think if, if you really love uh, getting out of bed and working on whatever it is that you work on every single day, I think that is going to kind of give you a, a, a positive mindset um, because you just kind of truly love what you do, right? How could you have a negative mindset? Sure, there's going to be all kinds of stress that comes in as a result of you trying to kind of solve problems of the world. Um, but uh, I think if you just kind of remain focused, remain passionate, love what you do, um, that's, you know, half the battle. Um, and then the second thing I would say is surround yourself with positivity too, right? Um, you know, the people that you employ, um, the culture that you build, you know, try to make sure that it's a, a very positive and friendly environment where people are, you know, smiling and not feeling stressed out and overworked. Um, sure, there'll be times where people are stressed out and they feel overworked. But overall, like if the if the culture of the organization is like positivity, um, you know, that's great. You know, we as a company, we try to work in an environment where, you know, there's no blame, right? People are going to mis- make mistakes, um, you know, and we just kind of try to learn from the mistakes. Uh, in some cases, like we've made mistakes and we've lost clients as a result of us making mistakes. Um, does that mean that we need to fire the person that was responsible for making that mistake? No. <laughs> I mean, if anything, like, you know, we look at it as a bright, uh, not a bright sign, but the fact that we made this mistake and we're going to fix it, guess what? We're never going to piss off any other clients about that in the future, right? So it's just a lesson. Um, So anyway, that's what I would say is just try to, you know, A, love what you do, try to build a good culture of positive people, and then C, really embrace your failures and and look at that as kind of like a guiding light to the next chapter of success.